Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here. Today we are taking a look at the MS Sports Car Package in the Unity Asset Store. Now, on first glance, it looks as though the cars, you know, are pretty simple looking. And yep, to be fair, I did think that as well. However, I decided to actually take a look because I felt these would be somewhat useful in something I'm doing on my channel at the moment uh, with the Grand Theft Auto series. So I've been looking for assets and I actually quite like this asset more than what it seems like in the standard picture you see here. So the overall quality is actually, I think, better than what the picture dictates. Now, by default, we get a couple of different shades of car. Now, they are all based off the same uh, standard shape. But, you know, we got we got variation here. You could actually take this further and create your own one. You could create a purple one if you wanted. That is the level of customizability that is in this package. Quantity-wise, you get exactly what you would expect. You get five cars. It doesn't, you wouldn't get that impression just from looking at this uh, page itself because it just looks like you get just a red car. But all five are indeed in the package. Uh, easy to use. Now they don't have car controllers, which is perfectly fine because you can incorporate uh, your own car controller into these. Um, they do have bits to them. Uh, one thing I didn't uh, know, well, one thing that I did notice, but I didn't particularly care too much for, is the fact that the doors don't open, but the seats are movable. That's good. Uh, but the doors aren't quite there. So these are going to be good for something like a racing game that you're making. They're going to be quite acceptable for that. I mean, as always, you know me and post-processing. I love, I love a little bit of post-processing. And just attaching a little bit can make them look kind of cool. Uh, Price-wise, it is free, which is good. Size-wise, it is 24 megabytes, which is not exactly big. For what you get, I'd say that is pretty decent. But just keep an eye on that size. If you know, you're restricted to so many megabytes, gigabytes, whatever, you know, just be wary. But 24 megabytes is a pretty decent size. So... Content wise, we do have all the models, so you could theoretically construct your own car using whatever you need to here. There's plenty of uh, materials, uh, textures, models to deal with. I mean, look at all these materials here. We can play around with these so much. Uh, you've got all the prefabs here. You've also got this default scene that I'm in as well. So, you, you know, it's a bit of a testing environment that you could use, which is all good. Uh, I always like to see um a test scene in any asset package no matter what it is because i always feel it gives you an instant view of what could be uh we've just got a couple of scripts and obviously a couple more textures here there and everywhere because we've got the ground and whatnot so overall i'd say its usefulness is quite high especially if you are making a racing game if you're making something like a grand theft auto clone or something like uh, i don't know watchdogs kind of thing maybe these may just do the trick just keep in mind that the doors don't open and there are assets that the doors will open but most of the time you probably would have to pay for them but for all intents and purposes the usefulness of all this package is good so as you know guys i don't rate assets i like to either recommend them or not and with this package i would recommend it i even if you're not making some kind of game i would recommend it to kind of get a feel of what could be i mean far Five, five different cars here. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yes, they're all the same, just different colours, but, you know, it's free. So why not give it a go? If you are making some kind of racing game, then these are probably going to be absolutely ideal for you, especially if you're a beginner, you're not sure where to go. You just want some variation in your cars, then it's worth downloading this package. So guys, don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with all the game development stuff I have on my channel because there's loads to learn, loads to see, loads to do. Um, if you've used this package, if you used any of these cars in your game, uh, let me know your thoughts on it as well in the comments. I always like to see how people uh, use the assets that they take from the asset store. And if you've got anything on the asset store, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to take a look at it myself. With that, guys, thank you very much for watching.